Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Brush and I make indie games for a living. This is my job and also my job is making videos about how you can be an indie game developer too. This video is going to be a little bit more casual, a little bit more relaxed, kind of more of a maybe a podcast format where I'm just going to talk to you about dealing with haters on social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, and specifically dealing with haters when you're trying to sort of set yourself up into a niche. So for me, my niche is indie game development, right? And I think a lot of you are probably in the same boat. But this video is true for pretty much anybody in any sort of influencer pursuit um, and entrepreneurial pursuit. So how do you deal with haters? We're gonna talk about that in this video. And by the way, guys, I wanted to let you know that my brand new course, Easy 3D, is totally free right now. Click below to enroll for free and you'll immediately be taken to the program where you're gonna learn how to make your very first 3D game. And here's the best part, you're gonna do it fast. And you really don't need to know anything about Unity or code or 3D modeling. It's really kind of easy and it's totally free. Click below to make your very first 3D game. I can't wait to see you succeed. The first way you deal with haters is for the most part, it means that you've made it, right? Made it, right? Uh, it's really just the way things go as an influencer, as a YouTuber, as a TikToker, as an Instagrammer. You're gonna have people in the comments that tell you that you suck, right? That's just the way things go. So if you've started a YouTube channel or you're growing on Instagram and you find a few people, maybe one of out of every 20 comments, that are just rude and they talk to you like you're garbage and they make fun of you. Or, this is what I really don't like, I don't mind the mean comments, but when they actually start to question your character, if that's happening, it probably means that you're just doing the right thing. And it's funny, you probably have noticed this, high, higher up um, successful uh, influencers or celebrities or politicians, the bigger they are, the more crap they get. Now, some people deserve it, especially the politicians, but lots of influencers, they don't deserve it. And when you read these comments, you, you think, man, this guy's kind of a jerk. Why would they write this? I really like this influencer. And I think that's happening in most people's brains when they read comments on your channel. They're going to think, wow, this, this is really rude. Why would this person say this? So just know that you've made it and also just know that most people probably see it that way as well. So I would go so far as to say, pin the comment that's nasty and I guess watch the people pile on because they know <laughs> that this is a rude comment. So that's the first thing I usually think. The second thing I, I, I do to deal with haters on my YouTube channel and Twitter and Instagram is I'll post stuff and I'll ignore the comments. And this is me just being honest with you guys. What I like to do is read the comments for maybe the first hour or two of posting. Sometimes it's even shorter. Just to make sure I didn't post anything crazy or stupid, like sometimes I'm paranoid that I'll post for some reason. I share my screen a lot. I'm worried like is my bank information on the screen or some private email? That's usually what I think. So I'll read the comments to make sure I didn't make a huge mistake, right? Um, but for the most part, what I do is I will ignore ignore the comments. Now, I won't do this with certain platforms. Instagram, for some reason, the comments are really nice on Instagram. Twitter, it depends. I think you guys know this. Um, YouTube comments are pretty great, but you'll, you'll every once in a while, you'll get a really nasty comment. And so, I tend to ignore comments on certain platforms. This isn't because I don't like you guys, and it's not, it's not because I don't love you and I wanna see you succeed and I wanna help you guys. It's that when I read a negative comment or I read uh, maybe two negative comments, I kinda go into a spiral, I'll be honest. Um, and I'll go downstairs and I'll talk to my wife and say, this person said this about me. And it's usually when people uh, question my, my character. I don't really mind the silly stuff. Like for example, one time, I can't remember who this was, but I remember the comment 
One time somebody told me I looked like a Philly cheesesteak. I don't know what that means. I, I can kind of guess what that means. Um, that I'm messy or greasy. Uh, so that one didn't really bother me. It stuck with me, obviously, I'm talking about it, but it didn't really bother me. But the ones that bother me are the ones that, that question my character. And uh, it usually sends me into a spiral and I'll think about it for weeks. And it sort of ruins my whole month, to be honest. So I just don't read them anymore. That's just kind of the way it goes. And you know what this, this means is as you slowly become more and more used to just not reading the nasty comments or maybe just maybe maybe you can read your comments but just when you see something that you know is negative just go right by it the reason why i like to do this is not only for my mental health but it's also because it actually helps you have the courage to post something that's honest and this comes back to our first point here which is if you've made it or if you've entered the influencer arena and I've I've barely made it right I don't have a huge following but you know you've you've if you've become an influencer and you you're able to ignore the nasty comments it means that you can be a very effective influencer the way to be an effective influencer is to be honest right to be yourself and you you guys know this I'm a Christian um, I talk about my faith um, my politics are very independent. I don't really hit either side, right? And so sometimes I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, I kind of like NFTs. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I like cryptocurrency, which is sometimes an <laughs> unpopular opinion. But I, I share all this and I'm honest about it. And I know most of you probably don't like one of those four things, right? But you know I'm being honest with you, right? And that honesty is encouraged. I'm, I'm encouraged to be honest because I don't read the comments. <laughs> I don't really get affected anymore by people's opinions of me because I don't think about the opinions of me, okay? Again, it doesn't mean I don't like you guys. It's just, it's not good for anybody to hear nasty things about them every time they upload something, right? So that's, if you're starting an Instagram or a Twitter, or a YouTube uh, following and it's, and it's growing, I would encourage you not to read the comments. At least don't read them all the time, okay? Don't, don't obsess over them. Now, the third thing that helps me deal with haters is to be humble and realize that sometimes people are right, okay? So a video I've posted in the past, you know, I usually get really, really like a 95% like ratio but one of the videos i posted was about nfts and that one got downvoted pretty bad uh like 30 i think it was 30 percent downvotes and um you guys were probably right about a lot of things at the very least it was you were, you were right about how maybe i had miscommunicated um so you know when it comes to that video, what I probably could have said was, I don't necessarily support all of the bad things about NFTs, but this is going to be an industry, okay? It is going to be an industry and you can hop on board and participate or you can ignore it, right? And maybe not take advantage of what this thing's gonna become. It's gonna blow up, right? So I probably could have clarified that, that I don't necessarily support something, but I still believe it's going to happen, right? There's a lot of things. There's there's critique that I've gotten for my games, right? Reviews, really crappy reviews that I've gotten. And initially I will read it and say this is crap and I'll ignore the comment, but then I'll think about it a year down the road, especially once I've sort of detached myself from my project and realize, you know what? That comment was right and I can grow from that. Okay. So this actually is kind of a freeing thing. When you realize that people leaving you comments, they're not trying to be mean necessarily. They just disagree with you. And disagreement, once you can let go of your pride, disagreement is probably one of the most fundamental and fun aspects of building a community and building friendships. Um, and that's something I think that we've forgotten as a culture, especially in America, how to disagree and have a good time, right? Disagreement is really, really fun. So I love disagreement. I love hearing your disagreements. And not everything has to be a hater, right? Um, 
So just take that to heart. You know, if you're if you're building your pre- your social media presence and you're becoming an influencer, um, just know that not everything is a threat. <laughs> in fact, even the nastiest comments that are stupid, they're not a threat. Ultimately, guys, in, con- in conclusion, if you've got hundreds of thousand people hundreds of thousands of people following you and watching what you do, you're going to get people who make fun of you. And I'm gonna try and teach this to my kids, especially once they dip their toes into a community like school. I'm gonna tell them, if you worry about what people think about you every single day, you're gonna live your life in fear. And you're always gonna be tense and miserable and afraid to be who you wanna be. Don't worry about about what people think of you guys. And the irony in all of this, the trick, the secret, is that the less you care about what people think of you, the more influence you're gonna have. Because confidence is everything. Be confident in who you are, guys. And I I think you're gonna see the garden grow of your art and your influence, your leadership, your ability to speak to people, to change minds and make the world better. That garden is going to flourish when you, I guess, seed the ground with confidence. Don't worry about haters, right? Be humble. Relax. Everything's fine. It's not a big deal. I'll talk to you guys later. That's about it. (laughs) That's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. For more content about entrepreneurship and indie game development, uh, leave a like. Leave a comment below. I'll read a few, but to be honest, I'll probably not read them in the long run. Um, And also just remember you can join my free course, Easy 3D. You're gonna take a little bit of knowledge of code, honestly, not a lot. I'll, I'll let you copy and paste my code. And no knowledge of modeling, and we're gonna jump inside of Unity, and I'm gonna show you how to make a game fast and free. Be sure to click below, totally free. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.